Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the show today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. While many Americans ponder their vote for our nation's 45th president, political figures and scholars will be in Key West this weekend to discuss the foreign aid policies and the legacy of our nation's 33rd president. This will be an event that you do not want to miss. It's taking place at the Truman Little White House, so I have the executive director, Bob Wools, here with me this morning to discuss it further with us. Hi, Bob. Thank you for being with me. Thanks for inviting me, Jenna. Okay. Can you talk with us about the 2012 Symposium on Foreign Aid? Absolutely. This is our 10th conference, and this year we focus on the very important topic of foreign aid. It was probably controversial when President Truman uh, made us a super fire, and it certainly remains controversial now. Why is Key West important to foreign aid? Key West is important to foreign aid because President Truman made that decision and, and came to Key West immediately afterwards. Uh, in March of 1947, President Truman realized that England was pulling its sphere of influence out of the Middle uh, East, out of the Mediterranean, and that Greece and Turkey and Iran probably would fall to communist rebels. And so he went to the Congress and told us enough of being isolationist and committed $400 million in economic and military aid to those nations and immediately flew to Key West and the full impact of us here at the Little White House. Wow, so this is what you're going to be discussing this weekend. Then. We are going to discuss a number of things. We're going to discuss uh, the creation of foreign aid per se, not only in President Truman's time, but as it related through uh, the later presidents, clear up to President Obama. Mm -hmm. And now who all will be speaking this weekend? Uh, well, of course, this being a political year, we're going to have several politicians. We will have uh, uh, former Senator, former Governor Bob Graham from Miami, and he's, he, of course, had headed the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He is going to talk about his role as a, as a foreign uh, advisor, foreign service advisor. And then, of course, uh, bringing it up to the current time, uh, Russ Carnahan, who's the congressman from St. Louis, Missouri, and since Truman's from Missouri, it's appropriate, he will discuss uh, current foreign aid policies, even under President Obama. Mm -hmm. And p can people still purchase tickets to this? Absolutely. If absolutely. Uh, they can call the Little White House at 294 9911, and we would be happy to, to take their credit card and sign them up. It's a, a Friday evening uh, reception with Bob Graham uh, and his presentation, and then Saturday all day long at the Marriott Beachside, and it includes lunch. And now, let's just talk about the Truman Little White House in general, Bob. Yes. You guys have so many important events throughout the year yes. taking place. Can you tell us about some of those Absolutely. events? Absolutely. Uh, one of the, well, we have two exciting events every year. Uh, in February, we, on President's Day weekend, we bring presidential children to the Little White House, and they describe what it's like growing up in the White House, what it's, growing up, uh, what it's like growing up as the grandchild of a president. Uh, Lucy Baines Johnson, Susan Ford, Margaret Hoover have all participated in the past. And uh, this year, of course, being an election year, we will have a major exhibit going up very shortly on the election of 2012. And we explain the Electoral College to everyone, as well as, as let people see all the campaign materials for the 20 plus candidates that are running for president. Mm -hmm. And now for a complete schedule of all of this, it's located on your website. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, there are exhibits throughout the year. Most of our exhibits are free. Of course, we encourage them to become members and also to participate in our tours. Um, and those are offered daily, 365 days a year, unless the president's in residence. Mm -hmm. The president of the United States still can and does use the Little White House on occasion. Really? The, our last president to use it, however, was President Bill Clinton. Okay, so it hasn't been in use then for a while? Not for the last couple of years. How many presidents have used it? Seven American presidents have stayed at the Little White House at really? various times. For how long? Uh, you know? Mostly it was for a weekend or a, a couple of days. Mm -hmm. President Truman, however, spent 175 days, and that's why it's the Truman Little White House. Okay, all right. Well, of course, the main event, though, that people need to go to this weekend is the symposium. Absolutely. And if you want to purchase tickets, they're still available. Yes. So they can contact the Little White House, like you mentioned, and hopefully you can get your ticket and attend this on and, foreign aid policy. Yes, and there is full details on our website at TrumanLittleWhiteHouse.com. Okay. Well, thank you so much thank you for again. being with me. All right, everybody, I'll be back after this with Colonel Rick Ramsey, so don't go away.